Welcome to Loop Learnix and today's video number 19 we are doing a VBA coding for the login form and we have made this uh, login form uh, what we need to do is we need to check the validate validate the user ID and password and then we'll click on login and if the user ID and password are, passwords are correct then we should be get going and a dashboard should automatically be open uh, that's what we need to do in uh, this particular video and uh, on the cancel button of course cancel button will be used to log out or completely uh, shut down the database so that's what we are going to do today before we go ahead and do that i would like to say that if you haven't watched the previous 17 18 videos in this series please go ahead and do that the link for those uh, videos will be in the description below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not just subscribed and hit the bell icon so you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thank you very much and now let's move forward and talk about the uh, vb coding for login form so let's go ahead and do that and we'll do it by going to the design view so i'll click on login button uh, even tap ellipsis dot 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 code builder and here we are in uh, the vba editor so what uh, i need to do first which i always like to do is to get uh, although i have to type in but just to save time i'll take the uh, code for the error handling okay on error resume next so that's the code and in this within this code block we will all do the vb coding so we'll start with the dim rs as record set okay rs is equal to current db that means from this database which we are working on dot open record set now this what we are going to use record set uh, is the technique uh, to read uh, create delete update the data in the table without opening them so that's what we are going to do with the record set okay and now it is asking which record set you want to look for let me close this supplier form so we we're looking we are referring to the employees uh, table because this is where the employees information is stored uh, such as user id and password if you have a separate table for user id and password like login credentials you will use the the reference of that particular table but here we have employees table so we are going to give employees name here of the table and we will say db open snapshot and db open snapshot mean we are just we just want to take a snapshot of the record set in this particular table we don't want to add it we don't want to add we don't want to delete we don't want to do anything we just take the snapshot and we just want to read the data in that particular table that's what we want Oops, 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 mistake, mistake. Okay, that is it. So, that with that, these two line of code, what we did without opening the table, we are in this table and we are reading the database. We have taken the snapshot of all the data that exists in this particular table. So, that's what we did with this uh, two line of code. Now, we need to look for the uh, particular fields these two fields we are looking for in this database right and uh, so we'll go if uh, sorry first rs dot find first so first we would like to find what well we would like to find the user id user id okay and equal to so we would like to find the user id first from this record set and me dot txt user id emphasis 
here we go so with this line of code what basically we are doing we are asking the microsoft access that hey if whatever user id is input in this particular field by the user go in this record set and check for the user id column and if they if the user id that uh, pin input is given by user if it matches with this user with any of the record set then it's okay move on otherwise give an error and that's what we are going to do if rs dot no match is equal to true so if there is no match of the record set then then what needs to be done all well, then simply give an error okay message box the user user id is incorrect or missing okay we be critical and then information after that we will exit this subroutine and we will close it and if because if the user id itself is incorrect provided by the user then we don't want to proceed further we would do we don't even want to check the password we want to restrict the user uh, here only we don't want to proceed further just to ensure the security and safety of the database so that's that's what this few line of code block will do after that we if for example the user id matches the record in the record set then what needs to be done well then simply we need to move ahead and check for the password so we don't want we want two conditions to check first we don't want this password field to be empty second we don't want the password given by the user is incorrect uh, as compared to the password exist in this record set that's what we want so we'll say if is null me dot txt password dot value is equal to true or or yeah rs exclamation mark password does not match with me dot txt password dot value then so two conditions we have put if the password field is empty or the password provided by the user does not match with any of the record in the password field against the user id then then give an error so we'll give an error to cmd dot beep message box uh, the password is incorrect or missing okay and it will be vb critical information all right simple as that and in this case also me dot password me dot txt password why do i keep forgetting set focus okay we will exit the sub like we did for the username and we'll end it okay here also we'll set the focus uh, let me set focus here for the user id me dot txt user id dot set focus okay all right so that with this line of code what we did if so we have read the table we have read the record set and we matches we with this line of code we try to match the record of the user id and password with what we have in the table in the record set if it doesn't match or missing then simply we are giving error if this is all false means the user id and passwords are correct then what needs to be done well then simply a message box should appear after the message welcome message the dashboard should be open automatically and in the dashboard this text box should be filled with the user name whoever has logged on to the database okay so that's what needs to be happen so this we will write here 
टू सी एम डी टू सी एम डी डॉट पी मैसेज बॉक्स वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट ग्रोसरी स्टोर डेटा बेस वट एवर मैसेज यू वुड लाइक टू गिव यू कैन ऑफकोर्स मोडिफाई दिस मैसेज ओके आफ्टर दैट we want to open to cmd dot open form which form we want to open dashboard f that's the form name we we want to open and after we open the form we want this field to be filled in with whatever name exist in the employee name column of this table okay so forms dashboard f and this field name is txt username is equal to rs and we are going back to record set uh, this is our record set amp name simple as that okay and after that what we want is we want to close this once everything is done we want to close this login form automatically so we'll say do cmd dot close what do we want to close we want to close the ac form me dot name me dot name means whatever form is the active form that's the form we want to close let's debug it so we do have error oops we want to write here set rs okay that's why it's debugging is a good idea so you if you have done any mistake you will get to know with debugging right let's go ahead and test it out if we have done it correctly or if there is any error so let's type in employee so this is the wrong user id and i'll click on login and it will say user id is incorrect or missing this is wrong user id again so it is okay now i will type in the correct user id and i'll keep the password missing so password is incorrect or missing now let's type the wrong password so password is incorrect or missing now i will type in the correct password and now if it, it will say welcome to next grocery database because the uh, user id and password is validated with our record set and now it is allowing us to move ahead and open the data, uh, dashboard and you can see the name of the particular employee who has logged on uh, is automatically populated so that's how you do the coding of uh, login form and it's in microsoft access anyway i hope you have learned something from this video even if you have not please do let me know in the comments below and um, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, as well and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a video so share like subscribe whatever these youtubers say so i have to say that also and um, thank you for watching again and i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye